Hey everyone, I'm Pastel here, and in today's video it is a holiday Dollar Tree haul because I have 12 days of Christmas that I need to be working on. Christmas is going to come up real quick. So, um, I went to the Dollar Tree and I got two of these candle holders, which I'm going to use as stems. Um, with I got two of these as well, and I love this like little ruffle scalloped edge. Um, and I plan to put some red ribbon, which I got from Walmart. That's what, That will be in a separate video within itself. Um, so I'm separating Walmart and Dollar Tree into two separate videos. Um, I'll link the Walmart one and vice versa in the description so you can check both of them out. Um, but anyways, yeah, so this is just Dollar Tree. Um, but I'm going to attach them like that. And I'm sure you guys have seen, like, everywhere, like... Anyone who hauls stuff from Dollar Tree has definitely done this. Um, so that is my plan, and then fill it with like um, some pine cones or something like that. Just like something festive. Um, I wanted to use this as almost like a terrarium and put like some cool or like a scene in here, but it's too small. Um, so I ended up getting a really big like fishbowl one um, from Walmart, which you will see in the other video. I won't show that in this one. Um, and if that wasn't enough, I got a vase um, as well, and I really like the lip. I guess I like that because it allows you to put something around the outside and then like attach embellishments and stuff like that and just make it really pretty. Um, but this will be for a fake um, flower, like Dollar Tree floral arrangement. So everything that I have got, basically everything but one floral stem um, is all from Dollar Tree. So that will be a video on my 12 days of Christmas. I'm trying to keep all the glass stuff on my craft desk so nothing breaks. And I seen this. Um, I was looking through uh, the DVDs and stuff and I seen this and it, I seen Adam Sandler and definitely he's super super well known and the fact that it's like an extended version, um, it says unrated, so I just thought that, that was really cool. Um, so I actually picked this up for my dad. I mean, naturally this would be far more expensive if you were to get it somewhere else. So something like on Amazon, you probably would have spent a decent amount of money on this. Maybe like $5 and up. So this was a dollar and that's just insane. Um, so that's for him. I'm going to put it in, um, his goodie bag for the holidays. And then I have some projects, um, that I'm going to be doing, um, it involves these socks, it's not for me to wear, no I don't have any kids, and my feet are not this small. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be making some snowmen um, and some penguins out of socks, at least that is my plan. I hope this will all work out well. Um, so I got some white ones, there's three pairs in here so that gives me six socks. So essentially um, three snowmen and three penguin, roughly, give or take. Um, and then the black one, it's like an athletic sock, I guess. Um, but this one says no show, this one says crew. But I'm not going to use the ruffles here, like the ridges. This is all going to get cut off and I'm only going to use a smooth part um, for the penguins. So I got those and then I got some little kid, like toddler ones. These are like little itty bitty baby little feet. Um, and there's clearly, it's, it's one set each so you get like two of each design um, but it will be for the hats of uh, the snowmen and the penguins so there's like a cute polka dot one a striped pink one um, a like gray one with little hearts on it and then another type of striped um, like pink one but it's more baby pink and white um, so that is the plan for these um, I also picked up some rice from uh, Walmart, which will also be in the other video. I'll talk about that there, um, but that is the plan for these, so I hope this will all work out well. Definitely check out that video when the time comes to see if things worked out, because I'm going to post it regardless. Um, and then I also got some flossers. Um, I seen people were hauling these, um, and I had high interest. Um, I don't floss enough, personally. I should be flossing a lot more because my teeth are not straight and they are pretty close together. They, Some of them kind of like overlap. They're kind of like wonky, um, crooked teeth and such. Um, so I, I should be flossing more and the fact these are like flavored and they're like easier to hold and they're like smaller portions, like uh, smaller little bits of floss, I thought that it might be a little 
more easier to use, a little more fun, kind of make me do it, you know, because they're cool and they taste like stuff. So I'm hoping that these will be kind of cool. And there's 30 in a pack, and I think that's pretty dang decent. I picked this up for my mom. Um, it says Love Forever, and it's Sea Cherry Blossom and Jasmine. So it's a soaking body mist. And it is made in the USA, A+. I love things that are made in the USA. Um, but it smells exactly like Love Spell from Victoria's Secret, like spot on, like pinpoint. And I have definitely spent money for Love Spell, so the fact that this is like exactly the same. And I know that she likes the scent, so I picked this up for her, for her Christmas bag. And then I got some mango juice. Um, I got a little hand um, blender from Aldi's recently. It was like 12 bucks or something. So I've been making a lot of um, smoothies and mixed drinks and milkshakes and stuff like that. And I love mango so, so much. So I'm hoping that I can kind of like recreate the mango pineapple um, taste of drink possibly healthier um, as the one that is from McDonald's because I very much like the mango pineapple. So I'm hoping that I can recreate that same taste and possibly be a little bit healthier. So I picked these up and it says that they are excellent source of vitamin C down at the bottom there. Um, but so they were like a buck a piece. I mean you probably could have got cheaper getting them in bulk but I didn't see a sense in doing that. I don't need that many of them. It's just I wanted some, you know. And then I got some um, craft foam from the Dollar Tree. I could have gotten it from Walmart as well but I didn't really see a need of spending that kind of money because I don't need that much craft foam. So they have orange in here and that is mainly what I needed so there's some other colors in here if I possibly would ever need it down the road. Um, and they're not super thick so I think that's really really cool. You could possibly use this for, um, I've seen Bailey J. Um, she's a artist here on YouTube. She uses stuff like this to put her buttons on so this would be really useful for that as well if you sell buttons, packs of buttons. You could use stuff like this too, so I might try that myself at some point. But there's 32 in here, so and it does have my orange, so A plus for a dollar, no complaints there. And um, I got some stuff for some Christmas packages and gifts. So I got the tissue paper in the red and green. It is like the Christmas house brand that they come out with every year for. Um, the Dollar Tree and there is 24 sheets. I doubt you can see that because it's so big, but there's 24 sheets in here So perfect for what I need it for and then I got some holiday um, Bags you can kind of see what the pattern print on here is. They're just so so beautiful um, so It's just it's got like old-school classic Santa on it, and that's what I've been brought up with It's just this really gorgeous Santa Claus and I got two of these ones and he's like adding magic into his toys it's just beautiful and then for my dad's I got um, this one where he's just like lounging and there's just like a doll sitting on a chair and you know the dog would be like me and then that's him chilling with his glass of milk and cookies so but I just thought that was really cool that I could get some bags that are similar to each other so for my mom and my dad um, and the pattern it's just the same on the back um, it's just not glittery on the back. And then I had this idea for um, for some mason jar um, ornaments, but that flopped. I didn't see a sense in paying a um, dollar for a mason jar and then just removing the lid and then just having a jar left over. I probably could have used a jar for something else, but not really worth the, the risk. I felt like I could really use these a lot more and I was looking for them quite some time. They have the magnets on the back and they're like storage containers so I'm going to add um, a strip. This is later on down the road but I'm going to add a strip um, of magnet tape underneath my desk area and put some things in there that I will need to have on hand that might be easier for me to have accessible. Um, there's a lot of glitter and stuff that got on these from everything that I had in my, um, in my bag but um, but the intent is to put images in here. So that's what the video will be, is um, mainly decorating these or anything of that nature, putting images into them would just be really cool. So um, that is these guys. 
And then I got this uh, Christmas card set. There is 12, they say deluxe. Um, the back, that doesn't match what the phrase says, but there's 12 in here with the envelopes. And just the image in general is just beautiful. I really love that like traditional um, Christmas feel, that like warm welcoming like um, creams and like woodsy colors and like the berry colors of like the red and stuff and uh, little bits of white because of like white snow and stuff. I just really really like the traditional look. Um, and the phrase, it says, may your Christmas be blessed with the lasting gifts of love and friendship. So I'm definitely going to be sending a few of these out to some of my friends and family, people that I love to death and I definitely want to send them something for the holidays even if I can't afford something to send you. Um, I definitely wanted to send you something for the holiday season so some of you guys will be getting some of these if you've seen this video. This is going to be your Christmas card. Um, and then I'm going to use the image probably for a couple things as well for some of the other maybe one or two of the Christmas cards or something you know. Because you can use these for anything. You can use them in your planners, crafts, whatever you please. Same thing with the bags. You can use those for a lot of stuff as well. Um, and then I got this for my mom. Um, it's got the lions on it. She loves, loves lions. Um, it says Wondrous Safari. It says like 9 plus. Um, mm, it doesn't even say how many pieces are in this because I didn't even check. Oh, it's a 500 piece. Okay. Yep, no problem there. It's, this is definitely an adult puzzle. Um, but it is of the lions and yeah, um, since I was young we've always gotten puzzles so like we've had everything from or have everything from uh, monkeys, chimpanzees, fairies and I mean now lions. I think we have a panther one too uh, but now we have the lion. I have a plan for another video for my 12 days of Christmas um, for some decorated picture frames so it is that brown woody kind of color that's going to be the base. And these are five by seven. Um, so these would be perfect to put some of your Christmas card images into if you wanted to keep some of them. But I got two of these and um, they do not have a glass. No, they do. Okay, so they do have a glass. It's just really, really good glass. <laughs> and then I picked up some of these. It's these snowflakes. So this is the 10 set. It is the little bit smaller ones. And then this is a six set with a little bit bigger ones. See how like messy everything gets? There's like glitter and like little bits of stuff everywhere. Um, so I mean, but it's okay because it's beautiful. I really can't complain. Um, but they're just slightly transparent with some of that like semi-ish green type glitter on it. And they're just really pretty. So I have plans for them. And then I got uh, the Halloween button sets. I know this isn't for Christmas or the holidays, but um, I very much like buttons and I put them on my backpack. Um, so I really like these buttons. And I think that's a really good deal for a dollar. Um, the little card things, I might save them and use them for something else. Put it in my little stash there. Um, it's meant to like give them out as like treats. Um, you know, for like older kids that might trick or treat. And then I got the Christmas stickers. I didn't get all of them because I really didn't like all of them. Um, so I got, I might have some water on them because it's raining outside, but I got two of these ones with the elves and Santa Claus and the reindeers and stuff. And they're just really, really cute. Great quality. You could put these right in your resin too. Um, and I'm a huge like sticker reporter, so I definitely got two of them. Um, and my rule of thumb is that if you really like something and you know you're going to use it, get multiples because the majority of the time you won't be able to get it again. So even if you could go back and you could purchase them again, they might not be there. They might be sold out. They might not bring them back because um, they get new styles all the time. Every year they're always different. So I got four of these, but I just really, really like the look of this a lot. It has that traditional feel to it like I love so much. It is just so warm and welcoming and it has the gingerbread man and the gingerbread house which I love um, and like the, the little gloves and stuff and Santa Claus. I just really like them so four of those. So that is these stickers that I got. They had other ones with like just plain snowmen and stuff. I just didn't have an interest in those. And then I got another pack of uh, this. 
Um, it's for like fillings and loose caps. Um, I like to have this around because I don't have good teeth. I tend to get cavities real, real easy. Um, so having stuff like this around is perfect. So if a tooth chips or if it's cracking and or there's like a sharp spot on a tooth, I literally just put some of this on there. Um, it's a lifesaver because if you don't have the money or you can't get to a dentist, they can't give you an appointment, so you can't get there right away, this is a lifesaver and it's only a dollar so I have no complaints there. I would definitely recommend this. I have used it. This is a repurchase. And then I got some of this reindeer moss. Um, since I went to Dollar Tree first, I wasn't sure if I would use um, this or not. I didn't know if I would find any kind of fake snow. Um, so I went ahead and picked this up just in case if I would need it for some particular reason. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'll use it now anyways. Because um, I think I'm pretty much covered. But, I mean, it's good to have just in case... I would hate to like something go wrong or I want like a grass feel and I don't have it so that way I have it um, and then I got some of the LED um, candles they call them filler candles I guess um, but they are just really good quality um, I had to go through them first to see if they would even light up good um, but it gives that candle feel um, I'll go ahead and switch these lights off so you can see what I'm talking about. They are just awesome. So being able to decorate these for the holidays and have that candle feel um, without having an actual candle lit is awesome. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'll go ahead and turn the lights back on. This is going to shock you a little bit. Um, so yeah, I just I really, really like these. Okay, and then I got some fake flower-ish type stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and show you this little bird guy first. Look at how stinking cute. He is just beautiful. I love him so much. I have to clean some of the glitter off him because everything is giving him glitter. Um, and I really don't like how that looks on him. But this is really, really cute. I love this. I only found one. Really sad. There was one that was kind of like yellowish and I really didn't like that one. Um, but they have the alligator clips on it so you can clip it on anything really easy and be able to take it off really easy. Um, so I like that it came with that instead of me having to add it. And I love the pine cones. Just really, this is a really, really good find from Dollar Tree. So I really like that. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and show you the white ones. I was looking for more of these ones, um, but they only had one. So I went ahead and picked it up just in case if I couldn't find something else from Walmart um, because I wanted the contrast of the white with the reds and the greens. Um, so I went ahead and just grabbed this one just in case and I'm going to end up using it regardless um, because the whole goal is to just use Dollar Tree stuff for my arrangement. Um, and then I got these. You can see some of the little berries are popping off. Um, but they're just they're really pretty. I love, love, love the pine cones and these little berries and there's like little bits of snow. I don't know if you can really see that, but there's like little bits of snow on uh, some of these little sprick branches and they're just really cute. I like them. These are definitely a good find from Dollar Tree. And now for the reason that I'm going to have to vacuum my entire life is for like these guys. They're super, super glittery, but they're so cute. I really, really like them a lot. They're just so majestic and beautiful and they do stand up on their own, so if you didn't want to use them as an ornament, you can use them as like a table placing. Um, but they are so, so glittery. I'm getting it all over my hands. And then the other super glittery ones that I got are these. They're just so, so pretty though. I have plans for some of my little arrangements and stuff, and they are double-sided. Um, I'm probably going to change the gems though for more of um, like one of the rainbow ones or um, maybe like the jelly stones or something that I have. Um, they're pretty easy to come off. I mean, this one's already coming off. Actually, it might look better without it too. You know, I have no idea. Um, but I guess moral of the story is, this is what they look like and I do like them. I like that they are 3D. And then the last things that I got from Dollar Tree are just some batteries. 
Um, I got the AAA and the AA of Sunbeam. They say that they are heavy duty, but I think these are the better ones to get from the Dollar Tree. Um, and eight come in each pack, so I'm covered if I need any batteries for anything. Um, so this is a low drain. So I mean, if that is the case, this is definitely a killer steal getting these from the Dollar Tree. If these are actually really good. Um, so, but that is everything I believe that I have gotten. No, wait, actually, there's something else, and I would have forgotten, and that's so bad. Um, this is for another craft project um, that will be for my 12 days of Christmas on my channel. Um, I got two of these smaller wreaths. I mean, they all look pretty big to you, but I got two of the smaller ones and two of the bigger ones. So I have a plan um, for both of these. Um, they are like made out of real twigs, like legit. This is like real twigs. Um, but I'm very excited about these. I definitely wanted these. Um, Walmart had them for far too expensive in my opinion. And the fact that I got these from Dollar Tree, dollar a piece, Walmart, way too expensive. I would never, could not bring myself to do so. Um, so, but, but now I believe that is it that I have gotten from Dollar Tree. Um, I spent, I think, $20 or so, something like that, there. Definitely a steal, I'm so excited to start this holiday season. Um, so, that is it for this haul video. I hope that you guys liked it. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below. Um, all my social networking is in the description box if you guys wanted to check it out. Give me some follows, stuff like that. Um, I post all of my updates and sneak peeks on my Instagram and, um, and on my Facebook page if you guys wanted to check any of that stuff out. Um, don't forget to hit that beautiful red button down below. It is free. It'll keep you guys updated with any videos that I put out right away. It'll show up on your feed and it shows you guys love and support for this channel if you do so and I definitely appreciate it. Um, and one more thing that I would like um, to kind of throw out there, um, I didn't say this in my last haul, but Dollar Tree actually followed me on Twitter, and that is amazing. I am so floored that somebody decided to follow me on Twitter from Dollar Tree. I have no idea who did that, but it's legit. That is like legit. It's legit Dollar Tree. Anyways, I'm not looking to gloat. I'm just really excited and... Um, floored that somebody from Dollar Tree decided to follow me on Twitter. Um, that's awesome. Dollar Tree is a huge corporation and the fact that they are like following back people on social networking and stuff and like watching, they're potentially watching this video right now of the things that I hauled from their store. So that's really really cool. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video and I love you so much. Um, and have a safe Halloween, if this video is up during Halloween time, have a safe Halloween. Um, and have a awesome holiday season if this is going up during holiday. I have no idea yet, haven't figured it out. But either way, have a safe one guys. Bye bye!